What up, what up, y'all? Today I'm gonna be showing y'all my mobile detail slash truck wash, fleet wash setup. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start off with the front of the setup. So right here, we got some gloves. Feel what I'm saying? A magnet glove dispenser. Right here, we have the buckets to wash cars, right? Right here, we have the vacuum for the cars. Right here, this is a creeper. For those who know me, know that I own my own truck. My own truck is right there. That's my truck, that's my tractor trailer. You feel what I'm saying? This is a 275 gallon water tank. We got the hose to refill the water tank. Up there, we got some more pressure washer hoses, some extras, whatever. Right here, we got our concrete uh, pressure washing brush. Feel what I'm saying? Right here, we have our truck washing chemicals. Feel what I'm saying? These are the acids right here. You feel me? Right here, we got the truck washing chemical sprayers, the pumps, the sprayer pumps. Right here to the back, we got our truck wash buckets. You feel what I'm saying? And right here, like I said before, I have my own truck. So I have my truck tools here and any other tools that we may need for, you know, anything in here. So all my tools are right here. Right here, I got an extra vacuum. That's a part of the pack out. Right here, you see these boots laying around. Those are my employees' boots uh, for the truck washes and all that. You feel what I'm saying? I'll show you inside my um my tool drawers. Let's see what we got. See what I'm saying? And we got drill bits. Right here we got all the hand tools. Right here we got. Ah. Here we got all the sockets and all that. You feel me? Right here we got a light to work at night when we do fleet washing. You feel what I'm saying? Right here we got a Milwaukee crate. It's got like some extra bottles and pump sprayers and all that. Right here we got some gloves for the guys, you feel me? Uh, we got some rags there. Some, those are like dirty multi-purpose rags. Right here I'm still trying to figure out what this drawer is going to be. But this is like, it's got some safety stuff, some safety glasses, some headlamps, some Teflon tape, some O-rings. Right here we have screws, nuts, and bolts, and all of that. We got Teflon tape, we got extra fittings in there, we got all of that good stuff. Feel what I'm saying? So we got all of that in there. I really want to get this floor done because it's bothering me. I want to get it diamond plated. So um, I'll be getting that soon, hopefully. Right here we got a step ladder for cars and trucks. Get the roofs of the cars. Right here we got our vacuum holes. You feel what I'm saying? Gotta have the partition, obviously. But yeah, this Milwaukee pack out is the best. You feel what I'm saying? Like, put it anywhere, very versatile. Feel what I'm saying? Now let's move on to the back. All right, so in the back, we'll start off here. We got our, uh, well, we'll start off at the door. We got all of our spray bottles here and all of that. You feel what I'm saying? Right here, we have all of our soaps and chemicals and all that. Feel me? Soaps, chemicals, all of that. We got like the wands and miscellaneous stuff here. Right here we got uh, vacuum accessories and steam accessories. Right here we got the wheel shine applicators. And it didn't have to do with wheel shine. Right here we have, you know, spray paint stuff. You know, miscellaneous um, stuff. Back there we got WD-40, we got oil for the generator and for the pressure washer. Right here we got all the wheel cleaners and all of that. And interior cleaners and stuff. Um, we have the Predator 4375. We have an electric, an electric reel back there. Feel me? We have the D-Volt. 4,000 PSI, 3.5 gallons per minute with a Honda GX270 engine. 
more interior cleaning stuff i'm still trying to figure out where everything should go feel what i'm saying up here we got the holes reel the cox reel you feel what i'm saying um, i'm actually about to change it got that we got the dirty towel bin we got the brushes for the trucks this is gonna have some miscellaneous stuff i need to i still need to see what i'm gonna carry in there you feel what i'm saying and yeah that's about it right here we have our wheel brushes and all of that good stuff feel what i'm saying we got some this is for the some extra uh sticks for the for the brushes right here we have all of our towels these are our drying towels these are our interior and multi-purpose towels right here we have some more towels look at this thing got wet this is what's annoying me interior detailing brushes window towels wheel towels and sponges and hand mitts and all that for the cars feel what i'm saying right here we have our bucket holes we got our we got our water pump back there feel what i'm saying pumps the water from there back here into the pressure washer feel what i'm saying so this is my setup you know i just wanted to look cleaner i wish i had like diamond plated um door panels and diamond plated floor um diamond plated uh shelf on top the diamond plated everything diamond plated would be nice just so it could look cleaner have that cleaner look you know excuse the mess everything is dirty because we've been fleet washing so my machines are all dirty everything is all dirty feel me everything is dirty you know we've been flea washing look at the holes we be in yards you feel me we be in these yards and we be just fleet washing and it gets dirt all over the holes dirt everywhere water everywhere you feel what i'm saying so i just want the setup to look clean and i'm working on that finally got somebody on the east coast that that could um you know do that kind of stuff i'm gonna keep this this is very functional everything is functional in the setup you feel what i'm saying i just want to um i just want to clean the look you feel what i'm saying so that's where we at right now we've been fleet washing man we've been um i haven't i haven't youtube or nothing like that i just want to show you my setup um i'm gonna start recording the fleet wash and i actually have a cold water and then my boy partnered up with me and uh we're gonna buy a hot water machine for the trucks but as for right now we rented a hot water um rented a hot water pressure washer trailer so that's what we're working with now we're working with the cold water and the hot water we're washing fleets right now we have about a hundred trucks you know to wash right now we have a hundred trucks we have one customer who has about 80 something trucks then we have another customer with like 10 trucks and then i got my friend that has a couple of trucks and then we we should be getting maybe like 55 more trucks to wash so it's gonna be you know it's gonna it's we're growing pretty fast and it's gonna be i mean i've always had this setup it's 2023 i had this in 2021 the problem is that i bought this i did this and then i had the opportunity to buy my truck so i bought my truck once i bought my truck and i had some people working for me and they were working for me they moved so they couldn't work for me anymore so i just left this van parked and i just started driving my truck because that's where the money is at 
You feel what I'm saying? But now my truck is down, you know, and not down, but like right now I'm not drive, really driving my truck because work is slow. So I'm getting back into this and I know a lot of truckers and trucking companies and all that. So I'm getting accounts for fleet washing. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing right now. That's the hustle right now. But this is not my main thing. My main thing is driving trucks. I wish I could drive my truck every day. But that's not what it is right now. You feel what I'm saying? So right now we're doing this, fleet washing. I do, I, I don't do mobile detailing. I don't do buffing, none of that. I just wash cars. You feel me? So I wash cars certain days of the week, in the morning, in the night. We wash fleets and all of that. So, you know, I had this for a while. I just got back into it. Cause like I said, things in the trucking game is slow. You feel me? So that's where we at right now with it. You feel what I'm saying? So this is my setup. You feel me? We do cars, we do trucks, we do all of that. I don't want to get too deep into the detailing because you know, that's a lot of work. We just wash in and out, go. But we do quality work when it comes to washing, right? Washing fleets and cars gonna give your car a nice wash you feel what i'm saying and that's what it is that's where we at right now you know um i came over here to turn on my truck because my truck been abandoned for a minute you feel me but uh yeah that's where we at that's where we at right now for those who don't know me my name is jeff you feel me just follow my page look at my videos i do trucking i do you know anything that has to do with hustling bro i'm a hustler you feel me so you know, I'm a, I'm a truck driver, got my own truck, whatever. And, uh, yeah, follow my page for more, you know. And we don't only pressure wash fleets. We do houses. We do all of that. I also have another van where we do um, home cleanings and commercial cleanings and, you know, all of that stuff. Like maid services, basically. Airbnb cleanings, all of that. You know, I have, you know, I got my mom doing that. You feel me? Look, this is the, uh, look at the magnet I have on my van. See, commercial residential, cleaning and disinfecting, Airbnb replacement, with pressure washing. So we do it all. We clean it all. You feel me? We clean it all. We do it all. You feel me? So follow my page for more content. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. You feel me? If you like this hat, follow at heavyholders underscore on IG and DM me to place an order. These are my trucking hats. Feel what I'm saying? I'll see you next time.